raining a lot, but look what we found. don't feel so well. Uh, yesterday I did a test and I have COVID. It's a little bit uh, fever, uh, headache, my throat is... Uh, it's okay. Not much more. But we were in the camper and Jacob is also a little bit ill. And then, is the camper small or big? <laughs> oh well, I didn't do a test, but I don't feel so well either. It's uh, warm and cold, and warm and cold, so we have a little fever. We found a spot at Vita Chiano. It's just parking, but uh, it has all the facilities, so we are currently on electricity because we ran out of electricity. We have been standing off the grid for too long. We have been standing off the grid for about two, two and a half weeks. And then the battery was depleted. That's our spare battery. Not the battery for the motor, but it's a spare battery. So. We couldn't lift the bed up this morning and we couldn't ignite the heater, so it was really cold. That's why I hooked us up on the grid. So now the battery is charging and luckily the heater still works. So the temperature is cozy and um, we're going to take it easy today. I'm going to stay put and see if Maggie uh, becomes any better because she's really feverish, a bit ill. So um, yeah, that's the day. Is the camper small? It's okay. I'm gonna use the time to do some work in and around the camper. There are always some bits and bobs to be done. And um, there are some things that are constantly in the way. So I'm gonna to try to get rid of those. And as you hear, the coffee is uh, going well. Mmm, coffee. So we'll see what, uh, what I can do. So oh, I got all my uh, equipment here. We finally found a spot for the computer uh, table. I'm gonna mount it here so then it's out of the way because it's constantly <coughs> in the way. Every day we have to move it back and forth. And if there's anything you need to prevent in your camper van, that it is moving stuff around. So that's one job. I need to fix a knob on the camera. This one. It's the handle that's loose and I've got a rubber uh, ring. And also there's still this leakage um, in the bathroom. So I need to um, get rid of the wood here in order to see if it's still leaking. Hopefully not, but you never know. Here is my uh, miscellaneous screw box. It contains all kinds of screws. Um, but there's only one disadvantage. I have to get them all back in this little box. I found one rubber ring for the handle of this camera, so that's kind of hard to film, but the handle keeps on uh, getting close. So I'm going to try to uh, fit it on top, see if it works any better with this uh, rubber ring. Well, there's only one ring left. That one I'll use to mount the uh, computer stand. Here are the coffee cups, safe and snug. Always close the lid, because if you forget it, mm -mm. whenever I pour the coffee, I put the glass here. So I don't spill any of the coffee. Yeah. 
Tastiest coffee from Maggie. Here you go, darling. Thank you. Some milk cooked. Mmm. That's gonna taste well. The coffee I put here. Next to where I sit, the discs. To make sure I don't bump it over. You have to make these precautions. You don't want to waste or spoil anything here on the, on the ground. We have been sitting in our camper for over 24 hours. We desperately need a walk. We really want to see Vito Chiamas in a city. So we pick a time we know no one is around. We stay far away from everyone and avoid contact. Vitacchiano by night. Go fit, go fit, go fit! It's fun to see the laundry there over there and over there. Yeah, there's laundry over there, yeah. So you have to pay here 24 hours a day, even if you're working yourself to death in your camper. Next house, Viterbo, has got to be somewhere here. We have found this property in Viterbo, near Vitocchiano, online. It consists of a house with four acres of land, 80 hazelnut trees and two caves. The house has been abandoned for a long time, has no water, but it does have electricity. A lot of people have asked us for a price tag and more info on the properties we find. So yeah, here it is. Today we don't 
The whole hazelnut forest. Yeah, so this whole hill as well. Oh, but they settling down. Until all the way, all the way until here. This, 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 this. And then half of this forest. Going all the way up there, those oaks also, and then this whole hill here on this side. And here you see the house, and then the whole hill on this side as well. Here's probably the well. I mean, it looks like a well. And you can see the neighbors. If the sound travels far in the valley, you can hear him at work. But we hear the highway. And of course, barking dogs. You can definitely hear the highway. It is nice. We will keep it in mind, but we couldn't see the inside. We need to get back to Liguria since we have more viewings planned. We have, however, time for just one more house we found from the same agent as this one. Also in Viterbo, so practically around the corner. The house we are about to visit is a skeleton house. There are many unbuilt or half-finished houses in Italy. A lot has to do with the popular Super Bonus 110 initiative. This law entitled homeowners to a tax credit of up to 110% of the costs of upgrading their property. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, this has led to a surge in home renovations and helped to fuel Italy's economy after the effects of the coronavirus pandemic. But within a short period of time, there are now too many house renovations going on at the same time. And all qualified personnel was fully booked for the next decade. This resulted in hyper-long waiting lists. And moreover, all raw material prices went up like crazy. Results? Lots of unfinished houses and unfinished renovations. The bonus has now been reduced to 80% and will disappear within two years. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna wait for dogs. Mm.
squadra più bello But you need people for to do this, you can't do this on your own. You need also uh, water, electricity. Yeah. And the grey water and everything. There's nothing. And we can finish that, it's no problem. Oh uh, yeah. We can do that. What was you say? Boop. Just need to learn, eh? And there's also big downstairs. Did you see that? Huge downstairs as well. I haven't even seen that. How many windows do you need? <laughs> Land is flat. Reasonably flat. Nice entrance. It has privacy though. That was really clever. You were a magician, you are. How did you do that? <laughs> okay. Well, it's not a no.